Hard point secured. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for the final time. I can actually discuss my first-hand experience when I actually got to play the game and go over sniping. I know a lot of people, uh, most of my channel is based off sniping, so a lot of you are eager to hear my opinions on this and my opinions in general, and I think I'm just going to sum this up for players. Um, you guys, whatever play style you have for Advanced Warfare and what you guys can expect and what I really thought about it. Um, overall, I had a great experience. I went out to uh, San Francisco for the first time. I uh, went to a private event when I landed, so I got off the plane, went to a private event, and just started playing, basically. I sat down and I played about 15, 12 games, give or take, and then uh, from there I recorded all that footage, came back to the hotel, looked it over, kind of, you know, processed everything that happened, then the next day I went to the studio, and then I got a tour of the studio, saw how the game was developed, saw a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, and I thought it was pretty incredible. And then after that, you know, I kind of came home, came back, and started making videos, the ones that you guys saw recently within this past week. Um, I think I've uploaded around 15 to 20 some videos with since the 11th, so that's like two videos a day almost, which is absolutely insane for uh, being busy. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've given me. You know, you've checked out the playlist that I've had for Advanced Warfare. Um, if you guys wanted to watch gameplay without commentary, you know, it's still there. Um, the likes and, you know, the amount of support I've had and the sharing of the videos is absolutely humbling and incredible. Um, I have about 20 new thousand subscribers, which is just insane that's that's absolutely nuts within a week so I want to welcome you all to my channel uh, usually I like to do a lot of commentary sniping gameplay um, just teaching you guys how to you know be better at the game and give my opinion and give you up-to-date news and facts about what news is kind of coming down the pipe but uh, when it comes to advanced warfare guys I think people are gonna be in for a shock I think uh, you guys watching it and seeing how it's played is completely different that's only part of the picture you know that's the tip of the iceberg um, when you can just see a game and you see how these mechanics work you don't necessarily understand it you don't have the feel for it and a lot of people's reactions were kind of what I predicted I was talking to Kondry and I explained that well I think people are gonna like this game as soon as they get to play it and they get to spend time with it but when they're actually seeing it it's gonna be a bit much to process and that's how I felt too uh, we sat down in this big room and it had a projector on the screen and you could just see this gigantic um, trailer that was played and it was absolutely nuts. Uh, you saw how much the exosuit was used and just how, how extensive and how dominant it is for the entire game. And at the end of it, we were just sitting there like, all right, what did I just watch? You know, this is, this is absolutely insane. There's so much. There's perks. There's weapons loot. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Like, what, what happened is basically uh, my, my initial reaction was just, whoa. And uh, when we finally got down to play it, and you, and you could sit there, you know, at first you're kind of frustrated because you're not sure how the exosuit works, but the, at the end of the night, I felt pretty confident in my abilities to boost around the map, maneuver around the map, and actually get kills doing that. And that was part of the fun part of uh, progressing. And I definitely feel that uh, after playing it, you know, everyone wants to make these conclusions like, oh, it's, it's a copy of Titanfall. And uh, guys, just to dismiss this real quick, this game has been in production for three years. Titanfall was in production for about two and a half to three years as well. And when you guys think about futuristic games, what do you think of? You think about like lasers, you think about jetpacks, you think about boosting, float, flying, whatever, anything like that. So. Uh, it's very simple to have some of the same concepts, and I have to tell you, this play is absolutely nothing like Titanfall whatsoever. Um, the maps are extremely aggressive. They are big enough to where you know it takes you some time to get to a certain location, but it's not nearly as much as you think, and boosting around is really perfect on this because it's a small map. They're very aggressive. They're in your face. Now, when it comes down to being a player like myself who's a, an aggressive sniper, this is something that you guys are going to have to learn, and I definitely feel that uh, players in general, not even just snipers, are going to have to get used to this. They're going to have to get used to maneuvering. They're going to have to get used to positioning. They're going to have to get used to outplaying people on a whole nother level, um, outgunning people at different type of verticalities, and you know even midair. You know you're going to have situations where people are going to be boosting all over the place, and you're going to have to be. Uh, very reactive to that and I definitely feel that even though this might not be the Call of Duty that we've had this is definitely a step in an interesting direction it's very aggressive and it's very different everyone's always wanted change and they preach change all the time oh, I, I hope you guys change Call of Duty I hope you change it and as soon as you do we get a lot of negative feedback saying God, I can't believe you guys ruined Call of Duty I don't want to play Titanfall 2 and all of these kind of funny insults when no one's really played the game only a handful of people have played uh, modern uh, advanced warfare, and it's it's just kind of crazy to think that uh, that's the initial oppression. But I'm here to reassure you guys that I think this has potential. The studio is extremely 
um, eager to listen to your feedback. They want to know what we can do to make the game better in a sense and they're listening you know especially with sniping i was talking to a couple people about you know the reveal and they said like well did you see the sniper clip in there we wanted to show that off we wanted to show players that you know sniping is still a valid option and that you can do this even with the exosuit um and there's a little clip in the trailer where the sniper gets a single kill boosts up and he gets another another kill real quickly and i thought you know that's kind of nice that they show that off in there and they're realizing that even the community as a whole, or my fan base, the snipers have made such an impact that they want to continue that within the game. Um, and to anyone that wants to say that they do cater to other players and play styles, if you're a trick shot or you're a quick scope or whatever, unfortunately, guys, we're you know we're at the bottom of the barrel. Same thing for anyone. You know they don't make a game for trick shotting. I think is the best way to say that. You know it's it's in there if you want to do it somehow. You know you have to figure that out. That's that's part of your thing, but that's. That's not their primary focus. Their primary focus is making an interactive game that people enjoy, uh, that the masses want to play. And unfortunately, sniping, quickscopers, we're kind of a minority. It's it's whatever. But it's cool enough that they recognize that we are important, and they wanted to show that to us. So I definitely feel that this game has a lot of potential, and I know it's going to be frustrating at times. Uh, it's definitely going to be like any Call of Duty I've ever played before. You know, you're going to sit there, you're going to have really good games, and then you're going to have really bad games, you know, and you're going to have those highs and lows. And I think the biggest issue is not judging it so quickly and harshly because there hasn't been a game similar to this. You know, Titanfall is close in terms of jumping. That's, that's about as far as it goes. Um, the gun handling in here is exactly like Call of Duty. It's absolutely fluid. It's very, very aggressive. Feels great. Um, the time to kill, in my opinion, I felt that that was fine. I thought, you know, getting a couple shots into someone um, and not having a bounce around the map to where you have to keep shooting 10 or 15 more bullets at them is perfect. That's why they die somewhat relatively quickly. Like, I want to say it's in between Black Ops and Ghost, but it's a little bit slower than Ghost. And a lot of people were paranoid about that, but I really had no problems with it. I uh, did pretty well, even sniping. Um, even using the bolt action sniper, I was able to get kills consistently and somewhat accurately and it, it never really bothered me how like whatever I didn't, I didn't really think about it you know it does surprise you though sometimes like on what you're able to get away with if someone's shooting at you and you boost out of the way but that's just going to come into strategy and how you play as a player you know like what your moves are or how you think you should be playing well for the most part guys i think this is going to be a challenge i think that uh, players now uh have gotten comfortable and that puts them in this position to be well, you know, I make these YouTube videos, I do whatever I can, I, I play this certain way, and I don't need to change. You know, the game shouldn't change. And once that game changes, people get kind of frustrated because then they have to relearn everything. Uh, and this is where snipers get kind of upset when they change times and they, ch and they patch certain things. Snipers get really frustrated because we're so used to it in a certain way, and then we have to relearn the entire timing and how to snipe all over again. And it becomes very, uh, very discouraging in a sense, but at the same time, uh, I, I'm always up for a challenge, you know, I, I love that, and that's where I grew my channel as a whole, like, I grew my fan base off of becoming a player that can exceed what the expectations were, you know, you set that bar, and I definitely feel with Advanced Warfare, there's a bar to be set, and there's going to be a creativity that we haven't seen before since Call of Duty, like, maybe Modern Warfare 2, uh, Modern Warfare 2 spawned an entire deal of sniping and trickshotting for players, to a, another extreme, like a next level. And I definitely see that creativity and ability in Advanced Warfare. It's just gonna be how you go about doing that. And if you wanna be a player to continue to grow, or if you wanna be a YouTuber to grow your channel and build your audience and uh, impress people, you know, you're gonna have your work cut out for you, but at the same time, that reward is there. Um, I definitely feel that there are some players that aren't gonna be able to step up to that plate and then there's going to be the others that can take advantage of that and run with it. And that's that's kind of why we really, you know, want to do this to entertain people. We want to play a game that not a lot of not a lot of other people can be really good at at the same time and we want to, you know, show off in a sense. And that's what drew me to Call of Duty and being a YouTuber in general was having that idea that I can do something other players cannot do and that was sniping and I was really good at it. And I felt that you know, this has the potential of, of that feeling for Advanced Warfare. Um, I know I'm really hyped up for this game because, you know, I played it for a couple hours, four hours or so, and you sat down with it, and after a while, you know, you processed everything. You just want to pick that controller up again and continue to play. And usually, when it comes to Call of Duty, I don't, I don't play it as much as I should um, because, you know, it feels the same. It's very 
boring, you know, in a sense it's repetitive and it doesn't have, you know, it's got replay value, but it's not the same replay value you think. And so far with Advanced Warfare, every single map and every game I played was different. You know, players doing different things, they go to different locations, the kill streaks were new. Um, this is the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even seen everything yet. We don't know what the co-op mode is. We don't know how all the kill streaks are going to work, what they're going to change in the final build. So there's going to be a long way to go with this game. But as far as sniping goes, guys, it's going to be a challenge. I think people are going to have to step up to that plate, or even the game in general, even players. You know, you're going to have to step up to that and accept that challenge and try to learn. You know, you have to adapt and build and build whatever it is your play style or your channel or whatever you want to do around that you know you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna sit down with this and it's gonna take some time and I think it's definitely something that people are gonna have to warm up to but uh, it's definitely one of those games that I'm enjoying looking forward to playing and I think it could go a really far away uh, it just depends on how the developers continue to interact with us as youtubers and I definitely feel that that's something that uh, we should keep lines of communication open I can't say you know I've never had a studio ask me to come out and play a game as early as they have before or even invite me to the studio and watch how devs are playing and making the game, building certain things, things that I still can't talk about. But it's incredible to have that line of communication open, and I hope it lasts throughout this entire game because there's an insane amount of potential here. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to go ahead and give it a like, I would greatly appreciate that. Helps grow my channel for Advanced Warfare as I'm excited, and there will be a playlist in the description for you to check out and some annotations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon with another video. As always, take care.